Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. It's Izzy the Hippie. Um, so today's background is definitely different. We are in my bathroom because I'm going to be coloring my hair. The last time I colored my hair, my niece was like, you need to record it. So I am going to do that this time, Jamila. There you go. Um, so ignore, I have probably the squeakiest floors ever that you have ever heard in an apartment. There's nothing I can do about it unless they want to do something about it. So just ignore that if you hear it, that's what that is. Um, but yeah, so we are going to be coloring my hair. Can you guess? Drum roll. We are going to be coloring it burgundy, but not only just burgundy because I'm an extra bitch. We're going to go with, um, I have an idea. Hopefully it works. We'll find out. So I do, I have, um, box dye. Um, I know that this brand works on my hair. I've used it multiple times before and it's shown up and it's been good. If something magically goes wrong this time around, then it does. But for the most part, I have used this in the past and it works fine. So I did go with, I got burgundy in the Revlon Color Silk um, box dye. So this is burgundy. And then I got deep burgundy. And then I have had this one for a little bit. It's not expired yet, but I've had it. And then I got soft black. I'm going to be walking you through how I color my own hair. I have always done my, not always colored my own hair, but I've always done it this way. And it usually works out. If it doesn't work out, it's not really the method. It's more of the product and or I skipped a step or something like that. For the most part, what I'm going to be doing always works out. So just a little walkthrough of what I'm gonna be using. First is a towel to go around my shoulders. This is an old shirt. Shout out to my Aunt Fonda. She got it for me from um, Washington State. Um, this is an old shirt though, like almost all of the stuff that was on it is gone. There's a few holes in it and stuff, but I still wanna try and, cause it has memories, salvage what I can from it. So I always use a towel and I'll wrap it around my shoulders and stuff to save me. Next is the clip to clip the towel. <laughs> and then I have Vaseline um, petroleum jelly, who whatever, it was same shit. Um, and then this I put on my ears and I put all around my forehead and I put like on the base of my neck, basically where I don't want the color to stick. I wanna be careful and not like get it in the hair cause then it's not gonna stick in your hair. But for the most part it works and it's pretty good. Um, and then we have the hair dye, which I have not mixed up yet. I will mix that up. And then I have a hairbrush because you need to still brush your hair even if it's dirty. Um, and then I have hair clips because I'm going to be separating my hair and putting them. Those clips will help me keep it separated. And then I have a, this is a, I don't know what this is, a styling comb, I guess you would say, because it has that point end, which I'm going to use to help me separate better. And then for this end, I was thinking I could, when I'm done, either go with this comb or this comb, that's what they're for to comb through because my plan is I'm gonna start with the soft black on my base and then go to the deep burgundy and then the regular burgundy. But I don't necessarily think I'm gonna do it in that order. I think I'm gonna do deep burgundy and then regular burgundy and then once all that's done, I'm going to um, then add the soft black of my roots. And then, so that'll be like a gradient, but I don't know how it's gonna work out. So we're gonna see, hopefully it does work out. I think it will, I hope it will, I have high hopes. I have done an ombre on my hair before and it worked out, but that was with like dark blue and light blueish. But it did work out. So hopefully it'll work out again this time. I'm gonna brush my hair and I'm gonna section it off. And then when you come back, I will already have Vaseline in my face and I'll be applying the color to me. Sound good? Deal? Yeah. Deal. Yeah. Okay, I'm back and I know I look scary, but trust the process. So I have applied the petroleum jelly all over to cover me. I have sectioned the crap out of my hair. It's a thing. Um, and then I have mixed it up and I went ahead and took a Sharpie just so I don't mix everything up and I marked like that's gonna be my deep burgundy and then I have my burgundy and then I have my black. So this, I don't mix it up in the future. Um, but yeah, so we are going to start by applying deep burgundy at the roots. I look crazy. <laughs> I'm going to just break this in half back here because it's not that big of a section. You're going to join me on the first one. Okay. 
Point. This is, um, yeah, so I look a little different. Um, I got rid of the towel. It wasn't working out. I was, I was, I was, I was hot. I was so hot. I just stuttered over the thought of how hot I was. Um, and then glove wise, actually we had a mishap. A clip flew out of my hand with the plastic gloves and landed in the um, toilet. And so I had to change gloves because I had to go after the clip because I ain't wasting that. Just going to disinfect it. And I'm not going to do my hair with toilet water. <laughs> so we've moved on to some doctor gloves. Also made a mess out of my life. But I mean, what's new? But my whole head is covered with the double like I did in the beginning to show you. And now I'm just going to show you real quick how I'm going to apply the soft black. And then when I'm done, I'm going to go over my ends again with the burgundy. Because um, they feel really dry and you want your hair to be wet when you're coloring it, um, not kind of dry like this is. So I'm going to go through, and I was just being sparing, making sure I had enough. So as soon as I go over my roots with the black to kind of mesh it in, then I'm going to go over my ends with the burgundy to really make sure it's popping. Then I'm going to wait, and then you do know the steps. I'll tell you that when I get there. Okay, so I'm just going to go in with, this is the soft black. So for this, you want to be careful that you really only get it I recommend working from the bottom up so that way you can just lay your hair back down over it. It's easier that way. Um, but yeah, so I just grab the hair that I want to be black and then very gently just put the black on there. Make sure I focus it where I want it. And then with my other hand, I'm going to go in. Make sure you get it all in the back too. But yeah, this is just to kind of get that ombre going. And then right there is where I want to go. I'm going to leave it be. We're going to do the other side now. So, same thing. So that's it. And then I'm going to do the rest of my head. So I'm going to go do my roots, um, finish the rest of my head, and then I'm going to add the burgundy on my lower ends to really make sure it's nice and moist and soaked up. And then I'm going to wait 45 minutes. I'm going to wash it out. I used to shampoo. Um, I think I'm going to try it different this time. I told myself I wasn't, but I think I am. I'm just going to rinse it out very well until the water starts to come out clear. And then I'm going to apply conce concealer, conditioner, of course. And then I'm going to rinse that out. Um, yeah, and then I'm not going to wash my hair again for three days, which is usually what I would used to, used to do, but I would also shampoo the color out. And this time I'm not going to. I'm going to try and like not shampoo it out and just rinse it out okay yeah so i'm gonna go do that and then i will be back to show you the finished styled product hello uh, and this is my hair um okay so 
if you think I look beautiful, thank you. I'm posting this look next. It's my holiday glam look, trying to get it up in time for the holidays. Look at me. Um, but yeah, so hair-wise, you see what ha happened was, I know you're probably like, girl, there ain't no difference. Hear me out. In the sunlight, there is. But, so my dingbat self labeled the bottles wrong. So I was putting the lighter um, burgundy on my head and I was putting the darker one on the ends. And then I went back in with the black and just basically covered up the lighter, which actually works out in the end. So it didn't look like it was like, wow. It was, it was the right kind of ombre. It's going from dark to light, but you can't really tell. Let me see if I can change my ring light light to something. Here's like outside light. Maybe you'll be able to see it more with like the sunniness. Maybe it's like turning up a little. I don't know. I'm probably just blinding you right now with highlight instead. Um, yeah, so that is my hair. That's how it turned out. Honestly, could have been so much worse. <laughs> words. English is difficult. It could have been so much more worse. I think that's it. I know it's not worser, but anyway, it could have been way worse. Way more worse. You know what I'm trying to say. Oh my god, I don't even know. In the light, I can tell. Not in the light, in the sunlight, I can tell. I can tell a lot. It's got like that burgundy hue to it. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wait about two months just to kind of get my hair bright. Even though it's been forever since I colored it, I'm being smart now and I want to let it recuperate. And then I'm just going to get the um, burgundy. I'm probably just going to do the box dye again. <laughs> but I'm going to get the regular burgundy, not the dark burgundy. And I'm going to get about two boxes of it and I'm just going to color my whole head back. Because then whatever darkness is up here, it may get tinted, but it'll still be uh, darker than the ends. And then the ends will hopefully come out a little bit lighter. And it'll be the look that I'm going for. If not, then at least a little bit closer. So I'm just going to give myself a break. I'm going to give myself like two months and just let my hair recuperate and then I'm gonna try that out but all in all I'm not mad I'm more laughing at myself but it at least came out good it didn't come out a disaster and my hair is still looking really healthy and nice so yeah you win some you lose some I guess you know so thank you again for tuning into this video please subscribe like this video comment down below anything else you'd like to see from me I have my true crime video coming I swear to you um, I had technical issues I actually began filming it things occurred it's coming. So yeah, I guess until next time, I'm Izzy the Hippie. Bye! I want to be daring, baby, dance the night away. I let my head down if I want. Don't you just get tired chasing fame and being pretty all the time? Doesn't sound like fun. You can do better.